Right, welcome to an evening on the River Avon in Warwickshire. You join me, myself, and Craig O'Brien. So now is the time of year when we start thinking about doing a bit of barbel fishing. So we've come out today, Craig's gonna run us through what he uses, the rods for this type of river, his end tackle, and how simple he keeps it when fishing for barbel. So we're gonna start with the rod. So, a 12 foot rod, um, this is the new Shimano Purist BX1, one and three quarters. Craig, tell me a bit more about it. I know you was involved in the development of this rod. Yeah, well, it's it's perfect for this river because it's very soft action. Um, and also, it's it, it worked well in flood water here as well. Um, it's a very, very nice rod. It's You've, you've got split split cork, um, you've got cork on the front, cork on, on the back. Um, on the top, you've got, let's see if we can break it down a bit. You've got your white tip, so like. Yeah, it, it like, just next. Yeah, so like me and you, we use, we use alarms, but then like you've got your purist barbell anglers who, who fish the tip, so you've got a nice little white, white tip, tip there for bite indication. Um, these are 74.99, and these are, I believe they're in, actually in shops right now. Very, so very very cheap. Yeah, I mean for the money you ain't you ain't gonna get a barber rod for seventy four ninety nine of this quality. Um, simple reel. Uh, this is my one. I use a fifty five hundred bait runner. Uh, but anything up to like that kind of size, and up to yeah, like, fifty five. That bait runner is perfect. Up, up to that kind of size, up to well like balanced, a six, well up to like with that six thousand is perfect. Um, so Craig, terminal wise. How do you fish these corner rivers? Can you show us? Um, yeah. Because you've caught some good fish out of here, haven't you? Yeah, I've had them 18 plus out of this stretch right here. Yeah, go on. Um, but th there's a lot of big fish to target along this river. But me, norm, this has been my approach for this time of the year. The water has gone a little bit clear, so I'm keeping it. Uh, and it's a lot, ideally, we would have preferred a bit more colour. Yeah, yeah. It, for, for certain, yeah. Well, we've had all that rain. We've got we come down here with the impression that it was going to be not chocolate, but with a bit of colour. Yeah, I thought it, I thought we might have caught it perfect, but um, now it's the colours fell right out, so it's going to be a little bit hard. So um, we're going to keep it small, small looks, small looks, small looks, small baits, just keeping it nice and simple. What size hook length would you say that is? Well, I'll, yeah, I'll, it'll probably end up at, at, at about 18 inches. Any particular reason why you use it that long, or? Um, that short. That, <laughs> that's, that's, that's well, short for a well, barbell angler. Well, for a carp angler, that, that's quite long. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, but for a barbell angler. It's short? It's very short, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I just like to keep, I like to keep the hook as close to the lead as possible because it pulls the weight in quicker. It's, it, it ain't got time to Better mess about with it for hundred percent. Yeah. So the size hook there is a what? That, that's a, that? that's a size ten. That is. Small. The smaller the better when the river's this clear. Simple. Just just, just, just a simple knotless knot. Size ten. What I always tend to do is. This is a coated braid. I'll just, just leave that little hinge there. Okay. So it's just got that bit of movement yeah, at the bottom. On yeah, the yeah the just, just, it's got that little bit of movement there. So it's yep. just harder to eject. Do you put any putty on it or? No putty, no. So just, as not, natural. No, just keep it as simple as possible. Run it, it's just a running rig. Just double over and that. Just all about keeping it as simple as possible. I'll put that loop to loop now, it's straight to the loop on the swivel. So we're gonna now set up. So this, I'll quickly run this through there. So what, um, to what time of the year will you fish for barbel, Craig? 
I fished right, well, soon, I like to fish from now onwards, basically. Yeah. Um, only because the fish are at the biggest okay. now until the end of the season. So, you know, you can catch them a couple of pounds bigger than what you'd catch them uh, earlier on in the year. So I don't really bother until this time of the year because the fish are at the biggest. And you say you've had them up to it? Well, I know you've had them up to it. Yeah, yeah, I've had them to 18 plus along the stretch. And that's, I think you, you had the Avon record, wasn't it? Was, was yeah. that the Avon record? Yeah, I did have the Avon record for, for a time, yeah. Until your brother nipped it off, yeah? Yeah, until me, <laughs> my brother nipped it off me, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to come out <laughs> that big. So there's your hook link. So is your end of your main line? Hand it over to you. Thank you. So it's easy as the clip swivel up the line. Okay. A rubber bead. So just a simple running running system. Isn't yeah, it? just absolute. The less on the line, the less you got to tangle. All sure. that, all, all those big heavy clips is is a no no for me. Just keep it to a swivel. So today it's overcast. Do you think we've got a chance of a bite in the day, yeah. or do you reckon it's going to be? Yeah, every as it's getting every out? every chance. But it's always with barbell. I seem to always have that little feed later evening. So yeah, it, it could ha it could happen now. It could happen in um, in half hours time. So what what I'd do now is I'd just go loop to loop. Okay, it's just. A lot stronger. And what hook bait is that, Craig? It's just a homemade. It's a homemade uh, boilie that is. Like it's, it's meat based. Okay. So will you will you feed boilies in at this time or? No. All I'm doing is um. I'm just going to feed. Yep. A little PVA bag. Clipped on. With a bit of pellet. With a little bit of pellet. Um, what type of pellet is this? Um, I oil, um, four mils and low oil, uh, 2.3s. And those are going in your feeder? Yeah, it just, uh, with Sorry, the, in your bag. yeah, uh, with the bag. The reason I use small pellets like that is because they don't get washed down, they, they stop in the gravel. Whereas if you use a four or five mil pellet, yeah, it'll the, get washed down. The current down, to take it down. Current to take it down, where the little pellets get caught in the gravel and stop around a lot longer. So, will you be using a feed on here as well? No. No straight lead. Oh, so you're using the lead? Yeah, straight lead. Yeah, today. I would, I, I would, I would oh. use a feeder if uh, different circumstances. But today, because it's, uh, it's low and clear, yeah. I'm just keeping it to. A bite, a chuck, basically, just, and that's you just lead clips onto there. In this case, I've got a feed reel, but it's as easy as just clip on. It's it's it'd be the same if I was using a lead. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't got a lead at my feet, so I've just I'm just clipping it on for now. Yeah. Just keep it nice and simple. Perfect. Let's let's get it out. Um, and let's see if we can get a fish for the camera. Come on.
not the intended species but it's a lovely fish all the same proper with raven chub look at that beautiful <laughs>